It is seeming pretty apparent at this point that Bernie Sanders is gonna have a good Super Tuesday. He's already doing incredibly well. And here's the thing, to some people in the mainstream media, it's like shocking that he's doing as well as he is. It's shocking that Biden fell apart, but to some of us, this is what we've been predicting for quite a long time. And I saw a video online, I wanna give credit to Bernie Watchdog on Twitter, who put together a little quick best of, best of montage of people counting out Bernie Sanders literally every step of the way in this campaign. Coming to you live from Las Vegas, Bernie Sanders has the inside track to the Democratic nomination. Let me repeat, Bernie Sanders, he's done. I see Bernie Sanders realizing he won't be in the top five and dropping out. I think Bernie's time, be careful. I don't understand why he's running now. They need to start knocking some candidates out. Otherwise, the Democratic Party is gonna nominate Bernie Sanders. For the Democrats to win, they have to knock Bernie out early. If it's clear that you are not gonna be the nominee, will you leave the race? I intend to be the nominee. But Bernie Sanders is the most stubborn politician. Stubborn old goat. Who's yelling? Screaming. 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 In the same screechy voice. His time has come and passed. Coming out of Iowa, I would bet on Biden being there. Harris, Warren, Kamala, Cory Booker, Michael Bennett. I think there's a lot of pressure on Bernie. It doesn't appear that there's growth. Should he be thinking about throwing in the towel? Your polling numbers have gone down a little bit. Just happened to bring it with me. Incredible. Is Bernie done? <laughs> Bernie Sanders was just released from the hospital. We shouldn't expect to see him on the campaign trail in the foreseeable future. Okay, so that's only the first half. You should definitely watch the full thing. Go to Bernie Watchdog on Twitter. But but yeah, just the patronizing, literally from January, like Bernie Sanders, he narrowly lost Hillary Clinton. How could he possibly think he has a chance this time around? And every step of the way, they were like, what does he think he's doing? Biden has got this thing, he's gonna destroy this thing. It was so obvious to them. And here's the thing, from the very beginning, what were we saying? Obviously about Bernie's baked in support, I don't need to convince you that we predicted that obviously. But about Biden, we've been saying from the very beginning, before he actually launched his race, yes, he has a lot of name recognition. Yes, he's affiliated with Barack Obama and the Obama administration, people are gonna, people are gonna like that. But he's a terrible campaigner, he's a terrible debater. He just can't get it done in this campaign, he never has. And he's run multiple times over multiple decades. And yet we kept saying that, and look, at some point, the fact that he kept sort of his numbers stayed up debate after debate when he would give a fumbling, flailing, corn poppy performance, I started to question myself. But I knew that this is who Biden was, that at some point he was gonna falter. And so we stuck to our guns, and here's the thing. All those people that you saw in that montage, and yes, I get some of them have occasionally said a nice thing about Bernie Sanders. I'm not saying that they've all tried to destroy him at every step of the way, but all of them, we're fundamentally wrong about how this Democratic primary was going to play out. And yet CNN and MSNBC filled the airwaves with these pundits and these voices and these think tankers and all that. Because supposedly they're the ones who know how things go in politics. Are any of them gonna have less screen time now that they were 100% wrong about Biden and Bernie Sanders in this thing? Any of them? I was supposed to be on Cuomo a few times, I haven't yet made it, I've gotten bumped, maybe it'll happen. Cuomo does have progressives, especially from TYT on, and that's great. Um, but all the people who were calling it a year ago that Biden was inevitably gonna fail, when we were mocked, but we were right, are they then gonna say, well, God, well, I mean, we've been, we've been failing our audience. We've been putting a whole bunch of know nothings on the screen, and just like not one time did we understand the fundamental uh, what was going on in this Democratic primary. Are they gonna learn from it? Are they gonna bring on new voices? Are they gonna perhaps rely on people who have been proven right? I kinda doubt it, but maybe we can tweet at them. Maybe we can put a little bit of pressure. Because they also have some predictions about the general election. I have a feeling they might be wrong about those two. Thanks for watching the damage report. What if you could protect yourself on the internet for the price of a cup of coffee a month? Well, if you head to nordvpn.com slash TYT, you'll be able to connect up to six devices to NordVPN's military grade encryption for $3.49 a month. If you go now, they'll even throw in a month for free. Go now.